Hi everybody and uh, welcome to this video on light painting merging. The photo we're looking at today is this one here, it's a cob from Line Kiln. It's taken in broad daylight uh, but the kiln itself is quite dark. We had the torch and three coloured gels and I took the following photo. So I took this red one for the ceiling, a green one for the side and a blue one for the other side and the idea was just to merge them into one shot like that. Here's an unedited shot just to show you how bright the place was. So that's how bright it is. Just a few tweaks in Lightroom, I've recovered the highlights, copied the settings to the green and copied the settings to the blue. So all three are pretty much exactly the same apart from they've got different colour in there. You can't actually merge these too well in Lightroom so how we do it is we select the first one, the blue one, then we press control and click the second one, the green one, and we keep our finger on control and select the red one. So we've got all three. Um, it's probably command on the Mac um, instead. And then we right click on one of them and edit in. And we go down to open as layers in Photoshop. If you're on Creative Cloud, you'll have this. If you're on an older version of um, Lightroom and don't have Photoshop, you probably should stop watching now because you can't do it. It will gradually load in these photos. Okay, so that they've now uh, loaded into the uh, computer. I'm just going to get rid of that panel of channels there. We don't need that for this. Um, we've got, if you look at the stack over here, we've got the blue on the bottom, the green next, and the red after that. So what we need to do is with our ALT key pressed we can mask out the green one. So ALT and click that we get this black panel here called a, a mask and we go to the red one and we do the same again. Right. So we're left with the blue. Now we just want to paint back in the red on this one so if we get our brush which is B brush we want white because we're reintroducing it back in and we want a fairly low flow so we can just get a nice soft uh, edge to it all and when we right click on our brush there's a hardness slider here so I always have it on zero for this kind of thing right so we're ready to go here we go so all I'm doing now I'm just revealing that middle well that the red light into the shot and because it's soft and we're not getting any hard edges or anything like that so as you see where it's overlapping the blue we get a little bit of purple that's uh, fairly neutral and then once we're happy we've got the red in we can go down to the green panel again on the black bit there same settings brush and everything like that and now we can just paint there uh, might fill in that gap and there was a bit on the floor of the green and the greens are very bright gel so uh, might as well make the most of it there we go let's have a quick check so we can have a look at the individual layers whoopsie daisy oh my battery's running out of my, my mouse so if I just paint in a little bit more of that red there and we'll see where the green was we might as because there's no other colour over here, so we might as well fill in these gaps a bit. Okay, and finally on the blue. There we go. So that's how you get the, the initial layers there. If you want to do anything else to it, I mean you can certainly look at doing some curves to give it a bit more punch. So if we drag this over. Oh my oopsie daisy. All my layers are in a bit of a weird place because I I usually have my screen on a higher resolution but you can't see what's going on in the videos when it's on such a high resolution so so you can make it a bit more dramatic like that and if you wanted to you could start playing around with colors so if it's a hue saturation and you can click your finger on this little fella here so it's a hue saturation there if you wanted less red you could drag it to the left if you wanted more red you could drag it to the right so it's just down to your, and then green, you can do the same. I like green a lot, so let's have a bit more of that. Probably more blue. If you wanted the blue to be a bit brighter, you could lighten it or darken it. 
I just wanted the blue to be different than blue. <laughs> you can use the hue slider. So the cool thing about light painting is uh, it's a start point which you can play around with. Anyway, I've gone on a little bit there, but that's how you do it. You go into the Lightroom, you select the three shots you want to do, right click and export as layers into Photoshop and then use masks. Dead easy. Hope that was a helpful one. Cheers.